what's up everyone welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to be taking a look at this team with uh diggersby shadow granbull and shadow marvel so marvel recently got up uh, got access to fairy wind but i am not using that move because that move is not good and i uh shout out to for the battles uh who suggested me this team last season and i got some really good sets uh, last season with this team so i decided to use it again in this uh, season of light so let's see how the battle goes i uh spoiler alert i got positive sets with this team which is really good so let's get into the first battle where we have diggers v versus lapras a really bad lead for us and i switched into my granville and he switched into my into his victory well and boom this is a hard, hard counter matchup so so far so i'm go gonna come in with my mobile and Opponent's final Pokemon is Marowak, so hard counters. Let's see how uh, we can come out of this matchup and get a, a dub. So here I got a shield from a move, which is really good for me. Opponent uh, shielded that move for some reason. I don't know why, uh, but it it is a good thing for me as now I can come in with my uh, Diggers B and then I'm gonna no shield this move. Uh, outside of uh, Fire Blast, uh shadow claw uh, shadow a uh, fire spin hex uh, uh bone glove shadow bone every move is uh, from alolan malawak is resisted so here i have to try to uh land two earth quick and uh la get a shield from uh by using a fire punch uh, this is my win con the only win con by which i can win this matchup so i'm gonna shield all the moves coming in, coming in from uh, Lapras because a serve will definitely KO from this health range on DSB. I'm gonna throw this fire punch, expecting, hoping opponent will shield. So let's see what opponent decides to do. Upon I got a shield, and now I got a I I can throw this earthquake to boom that Lapras out of this match, and boom, GG's to the opponent. Really well played. Let's get into the next battle where we have DSB versus. Altaria, so this is a really bad lead for us. So I'm gonna switch into my uh, Granbull and opponent misstab on the Pokemon and come came in with Mandibuzz and decided to surrender because he knew that I that the switch was wrong and the game was over. So next battle where we have Diggersby against Wigglytuff. So this is a neutral matchup for both of the Pokemon. So I'm gonna throw this uh, Earthquake ju uh, just to do a lot of da damage. Then I can. I'll switch into my Granbull. Let's see. Opponent decided to shield my Earthquake, which is a good call by opponent. So let's see what I'm gonna shield this move because one Ice Beam might almost kill my uh, Diggers V. Uh, and up, then I shielded that Ice Beam, and opponent decided to come in with uh, Skarmory on my Mawile, hoping that Mawile would be a fairy wind Mawile. And it can wall my Mawile, but this is not the case. Uh, my mobile has fire tank and I can farm you down. So GG's to the opponent, daily well played. Let's get into the into the next battle where we have Diggersby versus Ariado. So this is a really good matchup for my Diggersby, but I really misplayed it. So here I'm throwing fire pun uh, fi uh, fire punches, which is not a good play on my part. I should be throwing earthquakes here. Uh, it's a habit of mine. I developed uh, in a cup where I used this Diggers uh, Diggersby. Uh, where I used our Diggers B team to hit reach expert for the first time. So uh, I'm gonna throw Fire Punch again, which is not a good call on my part. I, I have to no shield this move because Diggers B can survive this move, and I have to uh, save two shields for my backline. Uh, the strategy of this team is save two shields for your backline and no, don't use your shields on Diggers B. And yeah, I'm switching into my uh, Marvel. Uh, banking uh an earthquake on my diggers so i farmed down that area dose let's see up what opponent decides to come in with so opponent is coming in with his wish cash which is not a good uh, pokemon for my team as one blizzard can one shot my uh diggers b and mud bomb is gonna do super effective damage on my mobile opponent opponent is uh, throwing a move on my mobile which is really good because that mobile was just a, a paperweight at that time so uh, uh 
really good thing for me that it got, opponent got rid of it. So here, opponent's final Pokemon is a uh, Bastion. I'm gonna throw this close combat. It will get opponent's final shield and uh, uh, saving this earthquake was a really good call by my by me as I can throw this earthquake on this digger. Uh, Bastion and I got to this fire punch. So this fire punch is gonna KO. I thought that it will it will KO, but it did not. So I can charm down everything now. So GG's to the opponent. Really well played. Let's get into the next battle where we have Diggersby versus Trevenant. So judging by opponent's outfit, he is a season seven legend. So here yeah, opponent switched into Altaria. So I'm gonna come in with my uh, Grand Bull and I'm gonna use one shield here and farm down all the way if opponent decides to come in with his own with his trevenant then i can throw a crunch to get uh, the shield which i used to even out the shield so here let's see opponent what uh, what opponent decides to do so here opponent is coming in with trevenant i'm gonna throw this crunch and i got a i got a shield from opponent so opponent now is trying to farm down my grand wall but this is not gonna happen we both uh, simultaneously cured ourselves and opponent's final pokemon is swampert this is up for me as uh, uh diggersby's ground typing takes super effective damage from this move and uh mobile is not good either because fire fang is res resisted up uh, so let's see what happens so i'm gonna throw this uh earthquake because i don't want a uh, swampert to no shield my fire punch so here opponent decided to shield and i know that i have energy of an earthquake so i cannot throw this move because i know swampert can cmp die so i switched out into my marvel and swampert didn't throw so at this time i was uh, thinking why did i didn't i throw that earthquake at that time so that is the call i had to make to win the game and now swampert can throw this hydro can to give my diggers so ggs to the opponent really well played and uh, and expecting that I might switch so and holding upon his energy so this to the opponent really well played let's get into the next battle where we have Diggersby versus Granbull just like the, uh, the weekly tough matchup I'm gonna stay in this matchup and throw Earthquake opponent was really opponent uh, caught a move I tried to uh, catch that Earthquake on Altaria but I stored up that energy because I have a habit of throwing moves on right timing which is uh, throw your moves after 1, 4, 7, 10 mud shots so that's why opponent was not able to catch that move which is really good for me as now uh, Granville is decided to come in I should have thrown that uh, I should have threw that crunch or close combat to get either a shield or KO this Granville because now uh, let's see what happens so opponent's final pokemon is toxic so this is uh, looking decent still uh, this is still looking decent for me i'm gonna throw this uh, power punch and i'll try to uh, get as much fire fang uh, damage as possible so here uh toxic dog is almost three is in three fire punch ranges because one fire punch will get a shield and two fire punch will ko but i have a uh, earthquake stored as toxic dog shielded that fire punch which is really good for me i'm gonna shield this move and i'll throw this earthquake to one shot this toxic dog so this toxic uh this earthquake does almost 90 percent damage on toxic dog. so boom let's get into the next battle where we have diggersby versus trunfix so this is a really good uh, matchup for my diggersby because earthquake coming in from stunfisk uh does 50 percent damage so uh, and so uh, this is that's why this is a really good matchup i'm gonna throw this fire punch baiting uh, uh i'm baiting here so uh, opponent shielded which is really good for me as now i can throw this earthquake get his final shield or ko this so almost ko this uh stun fisk boom and now i can farm down this stun fisk i'm gonna shield this move i thought that it will be uh, another earthquake but opponent decided to wait i'm not gonna shield this uh, second move i don't want my backline to be shieldless and lose the match so i'm gonna farm down that stun fisk and i'm gonna switch into my uh, granville on that umbreon because i have two fairy types for that umbreon so i have no problem in switching i'm gonna throw this crunch let's see opponent decides to shield or not whatever he decides to do it is 
it is beneficial for me as now I can come in with my Daggers V and throw this earthquake. If Tender opponent would have no shielded that crunch, then I would have palmed down that uh, this uh, Tender Gruel with my uh, Mawile, and then I should have uh, thrown, I should have uh, threw that EQ and played up on that Mawile to KO. So it was a uh, uh, GG's for me, anyway. So here I'm gonna come in with my Mawile, and now I only need this file. Uh, fire fang and play of damage to KO this uh, Umbreon. Umbreon is gonna get to uh, these uh, charge moves pretty quickly, but it Umbreon needs three foul plays to KO my uh, Mawile, which is not happening. So here I got to this play of and I'll throw this play of. This play of will KO this Umbreon, and boom, let's get into the next battle where we have Diggersby versus. Diggersby versus Dunspa. So this is a really good matchup for my uh, Diggersby as Dillon doesn't do a lot of damage and Rock Slide is res uh, resisted. So let's see what opponent decides to do. Normally <laughs> he will definitely uh, he will throw Dillon and Dunspa is bul bulky as, as you will see that this uh, earthquake will do 50% of Dunspa self. Even less I think 45% damage. So here uh, a move is coming as you can uh, see as you can judge from previous drill run, uh, that th this drill run is not gonna do a lot of damage. I'm gonna no shield this move as well because I know that I can survive this drill run as well. Next drill, uh, drill run will uh, KO for sure so I'm gonna throw this earthquake forcing him to shield or get his uh, to, or KO him. So opponent's second Pokemon is Azumel. I'm gonna throw this earthquake. And then I'll switch out into my uh, uh, switch out into my. I tried. I was gonna switch, but then I decided to let it go. Uh, I'm hoping that there is a Trevenant in the back. Let's see what happens. So, uh, it, it, because if there is one Trevenant, then my mobile is looking really good. So here I'm gonna no shield this move. Yeah, because I know that I can survive one Ice Beam uh, from coming in with from azumel and opponent's final pokemon is nido queen which is rough for my mobile i was hoping that uh, there is a trevenant but there is not i'm gonna no no shield this move calling it a poison fang bait because if i would have shielded that earth power i might have uh, win this matchup but opponent decided to so earth power and i no shielded shielded it so gg's to the opponent really well played uh, so let's get into the next battle where we have diggersby versus Kofak Diggers and for some reason Kofak Diggers will throw this Shadow Ball which is triple resisted on Diggers because of, because of its uh, normal typing and I'm gonna throw this Earthquake just to do a lot of damage and now I can throw these Fire Punches uh, to uh, to get shield and if he, uh, Kofak Diggers decides to no shield uh, uh, Fire Punch then I can farm it down so I'm gonna throw this Fire Punch And the opponent is um, dec uh, decided to no shield then i farm down that cough aggregates if you are using cough aggregates so psychic or dark pulse uh, psychic or da dark pulse do neutral da damage on uh, diggers b so here i'm coming in with my grand ball on this azure metal i'm gonna try to charm it down i'm gonna shield this move because i have i wanted to save my uh grand ball so here Opponent decided to switch into Altaria on my Shadow Granville with Charm. So, really good choice, opponent. So, here I'm gonna shield this move and I'm gonna charm down everything and win the game. So, let's see. Here comes the Azumarill. No need to throw any moves and I'm gonna charm it down. So, GG's to the opponent. Really well played. Let's get into the next battle where we have uh, Diggers View on Empoleon. So, this is a really bad, this is a bad matchup for me as. Empoleon can get to its charge uh, first Hydro Cannon before my Diggersby can get to its Earthquake. So here I'm gonna have to shield this move because this will do a lot of damage and I want this Empoleon to be two shields down for sure or get out uh, or boom this uh, Empoleon out of this match. So I have to shield this move as well because I have to throw this Earthquake because this Empoleon is really tough for my backline. So here I'm throwing this Earthquake. I got Final Shield and I'm 
gonna switch into my mobile because i don't want uh, this empoleon to uh, farm my diggers key so i'm gonna throw this uh, power punch opponent decided uh, let it uh, opponent decided to let me throw this that move which is really good for me and now opponent is, is deciding to come in with medicham uh, uh, mandibas i'm gonna throw this pa uh, power punch because i know that uh, mandibas has a is throwing a move right here i wanted to uh, throw a play up but mandibas di uh, didn't let me so yeah i survived uh, aerial is which is really good and uh, now i was thinking that maybe uh, throwing play up was the right uh, i should have thrown that play up i tried to throw that play up but no problem as i can come in with my granule and, and i caught a move on my diggers b which is really good as now i'll try to charm everything down here opponent's final pokemon is dragalji and it is rough because dragalji has access to gunk shot but this is really quick, uh, quick uh, to be a gunk shot and it was just an uh it was just a uh, just an aqua tail and uh, uh Digal would have gotten to another one so i decided to throw crunch there and now i can charm everything down so really well played by opponent let's get into the next battle where we have Diggersby versus Altaria are re really bad lead for us and I'm gonna switch into my Grand Bull and opponent decided to come in with Nidoqueen which is a good matchup for my Diggersby but it, it is a bad matchup for my uh, Grand Bull so the, let's see oh, I decided to no shield that move and now I'm gonna come in with my uh, Diggersby I'm gonna no shield everything coming in, coming in from uh, Nidoqueen. Nidoqueen has access to earth power as you can see how much damage it does I I know that I can survive one more and if Nidoqueen decides to shield this uh, move my earthquake then another earth power won't care so I have to know I'm gonna no shield and I also want to no shield uh, the bait and Nidoqueen baited, baited which is really good for me as now I can throw this uh, earthquake before uh, Nidoqueen can get to its uh, earth power and KO this Nidoqueen and opponent's final Pokemon is Buzzbull Oppon and opponent then switched into Altaria so because I know because I know his final Pokemon that's why I'm gonna uh, save my mobile so here uh, I was trying to KO this Altaria with my uh, Fire Fang but it, it is not happening I, uh, I'm throwing power up punch here baiting a play rough so here I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to shield uh, every move coming in from uh, this Altaria. I know that uh, Sky Attack doesn't do a lot of damage, but from the uh, previous Toxic Rock versus Mobile matchup, you can just get a guess that <laughs> counters are really doing a lot of damage. And one Super Survivor would have killed my Mobile. So this catch made me win the game. So as you can see, the matchup was really close, and we win the match. So GG's to the opponent. Really well played. Let's get into the Next battle where we have Diggersby versus Marvel, a really good lead for us and opponent decided to switch into Quillfish. I'm gonna, because I was uh, behind on energy, that's why I decided to stay in this matchup, uh, tank a move and then I'm gonna come in with my Marvel and now I'll try to uh, farm down this Quillfish with Fire Fang. So here come, I'm throwing this Power Punch to boost my Fire Fang fire fang damage and here comes the move i have to shield this move i because one aqua tail from quillfish might have uh bring down uh, bring uh, might have uh might have bring down my mobile to into that health which is really not good i'm gonna throw this power punch and this pelipper is really bad uh for my team the only damage it can uh i can do with on this Pelipper is by uh, Granbull uh, using Charm. So I'm gonna come in with my Granbull and the and I'm gonna save that mobile for my Diggers. So yeah, I have to. Sh uh, I'm gonna no shield this move because I know that one Weather Wall from Pelipper doesn't KO. And opponent decided to switch into Marvel. Uh, this is a this is a really good thing that Marvel wasn't running uh, Fairy Wind because what. I wasn't running Fire Fang because uh, two Fire Fang and my Diggersby was gone. I was able to save my Diggersby and one charm from my uh, Grand Bull can KO that uh, Pelipper. So here I'm throwing this these Fire Punches because I know 
because shielding uh, an earthquake uh, opponent shielding an earthquake uh, from my digger sp is my loose con so here i'm throwing uh, fire punch i'm gonna no shield this move because i know that uh, now marvel is in one charm range so here i'm gonna come in with my uh, granville and i i'll charm down everything so gg's to the opponent really well played uh, let's get into the final battle and fi that was the final battle so thanks everyone for watching uh, if you enjoyed the video and team so uh, uh, please uh, tap that like button and that subscribe button it really help helps out my channel a lot thanks everyone for watching and i'll see you in, in the next video